All right, now look at this. Take another live look at first worn Doppler radar where you can see Dorian still spinning in the Atlantic heading out to sea right now. Here's a live look at Ocean City, Maryland, where Dorian is kicking up some big waves tonight. Let's check in now with Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. And Brad, what is the latest on the storm now? It is still chugging along out there, picking up some forward speed, but still a very well organized hurricane. 90 mile an hour winds, but look at that forward motion. Northeast now at 24 miles an hour it is flying, but it is pushing, pushing out some pretty really strong winds, waves and surge into the northeastern United States. Very well defined eyes still clearly showing up on the satellite and radar imagery. You can see the rain man's affecting parts of Long Island up into the northeast. As this continues to push northeast, it will still be a hurricane for a while here, likely impacting Cape Cod and eventually eastern Canada as a hurricane. There's actually hurricane watches and warnings in effect for eastern Canada. It will eventually will weaken but still become a large uh, extra tropical system as it moves into the North Atlantic. For us locally, it's a scorcher out there. Look at these temperatures, 93 degrees out there right now. Those high school football games are going to be hot. The good news, it's not super muggy. Dew points are in the 50s. So if you're going to the games tonight, the Friday night frenzy, another warm one tonight. The good news, we're not dealing with any lightning or any rain out there, but temperatures starting off near 90, falling back into the 70s. Coming up, we're going to talk more about the heat wave, which is going to be gripping most of the month of September.